Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a certain thing in Ninjago's timeline that doesn't really make all that much sense, but given some inside information, it appears that maybe it does make sense after all, and that would be the age of Master Wu and why it seems like in the timeline he suddenly jumped in age so rapidly. So in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in the timeline of Ninjago, it has been said that 40 years had passed since the Serpentine War in the modern day. Day. That was shown off in Hands of Time and several other seasons, however that really doesn't make much sense as a lot of the characters in that flashback should be a little younger than what they are. For example, Rey and Maya definitely look like they should be a little bit younger there because it looked the same when they showed back up in Hands of Time in the modern day, but that might just be a little bit of a coincidence there. But the main thing I want to look at is Master Wu. Now Master Wu is kind of a weird case. Even though 40 years had passed in between, I guess, the Serpentine War and the modern day, in my opinion, Wu didn't really age all that much. He still looked the exact same physical age that he was during the Serpentine War up until right before Garmadon got struck down to the Underworld. After Garmadon's banishment to the Underworld, he soon began to rapidly age. I mean, that would make the most amount of sense if he and Garmadon were still physically young during his banishment, and keeping in mind the fact that Garmadon must have had a child in the form of Lloyd before he got struck down into the underworld, what does that really mean for the timeline? There's no way that Garmadon could have been stuck down there for at least like several more years until the modern day. He wasn't down there for 40 years just kind of sitting there waiting for time to pass, especially not if Lloyd had already been conceived. It's not like Lloyd is 40 years old or anything, so that must mean that Master Wu and Garmadon suddenly aged very rapidly. So why would this be? Well, there have been several theories regarding this, but the most popular theory is is that Wu and Garmadon shared some type of connection. Due to both being sons of the first Binjutsu Master, it's very possible that the two of them could have basically been immortal. I mean, that makes sense to me, but when Garmadon was struck down to the underworld, that link between them was broken, and Wu suddenly began to feel the effects of the ages that he had kind of skipped. They all came to him at once, so he became an old man. That would make a lot of sense. It would make sense that then he would go seeking other uh, ninja to go ahead and take his place, because of course, after all the elemental masters grew old, none of them could protect Ninjago anymore, more, it would just make the most sense that he would go ahead and try to look for people to recruit after he suddenly was aged up. So that theory to me makes a fair bit of sense, and that's pretty much how I've just been uh, conceiving it throughout Ninjago's run. Ever since I've been watching Ninjago, that's kind of always what I had assumed, um, but we don't really have a confirmed explanation for it, though. We just have that one fan theory, and we have the word of Tommy Andreessen, which is already a pretty good, I guess, backing to this theory. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you feel like Wu and Garmadon aged really rapidly because of this, or do you feel like the timeline is just kind of messed up in general and there's no really uh, excuse to try to save it? But uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With all that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Hannah Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.